So this SC gentleman, he was getting coaching over the first six months that I knew him from three people, all of which are brand names in the training business and coaching business. And uh, among the three of us, gee, I mean, I'm sure all three of us, we've worked with, I'll bet, 5,000 people um, collectively over the time we've been coaching, maybe more just among, just among the three of us. Now, number one, with me, he did payments. So I knew, you know, because he needed to space it out. He had another job. He had a family. He, uh, it wasn't like, oh, he could just do this full time. He's still working his regular job. He's getting coaching from three people. He's, he's practicing his narration. He's getting royalty share books and getting books that, uh, have a stipend on them. And he's just working his rear end off and he's doing it at night and he's tired. And, you know, he never complained to me about any of it, but you could tell this guy's working. In fact, I really decided within the first, uh, two lessons all right, this is one of those guys that's going to succeed with you or without you because of his attitude about learning. He wanted to know the tools. He wanted to have good advice. He wanted to make sure that he had a foundation for success. And the funny thing that's happened is because he worked like crazy to get his foundation in place, get the best tools, get the best advice he could find, even if it was contradictory, and he didn't go crowdsource everything. He didn't just put up post in a group and say, hey, I need a new monitor. What's the best monitor to get? He would talk to two or three people that he trusted and based on their advice, make his decision. And so if there was a conflict, he was only really going through two people. But he knew that it was kind of this situation where no matter which person he took the advice from, he was going to win because none of it was bad. It's just that, oh, person A likes this brand and person B likes this brand. But he was always searching for what is kind of a set of the best practices and then going with it. And in the construction trade, he had learned that already. 